failure by President Uhuru Kenyatta to swear in judges and magistrates appointed in 2019, despite a court order, led to a long drawn out war between the executive and the judiciary. I, Nyamwea Pauline Nyakobo Oke. The row took a new twist after the president saw in 34 judges, leaving out six judges of alleged integrity issues. As long as I serve as president, I will choose the right over the convenient, I will choose the hard over the easy, and I am not doing this for myself, but for the people of Kenya and for posterity. The president has been on the spot over his decision not to swear in Agri Muchelule, Weldon Korir, George Odunga, Evans Makori, Judith Omange, and Joel Ngugi. But it appears the row over the judges is far from over. The High Court has barred the Judicial Service Commission from taking any action on a report by President Uhuru Kenyatta on the rejected judges. In his ruling, Justice James Macau also stopped any investigations or prosecution of the six following alleged integrity issues until a case seeking to have the six judges sworn in is heard and determined. The case was filed by lawyer Bernard Okello. In his petition, Okello argues that the president cannot reopen the vetting of judges after the JSC completed the process in 2019. Following the High Court's ruling, there is no end in sight yet to the row over the appointment of judges, one year and ten months after they were nominated by the JSC. The case will be heard on the 5th of July. Rita Tinina, KTN News.